So one of the next big tech revolutions that everybody's talking about these days is the notion of the Internet of Things. See, now that we are extending intelligent sensors into everything, into the world of everyday objects, all of a sudden these objects are going to be endowed with agency. They're going to be endowed with the ability to give us feedback. The world is going to become intelligent and responsive and going to anticipate our needs. The world is going to feel like an extension of our mindedness. When everything becomes linked with everything else, as Eric Davis used to say, matter becomes mind. You know, David Rose in his new book, Enchanted Objects, essentially says that we're moving back into a world of animism, where objects have actual agency. They actually have a kind of consciousness and that things almost are enchanted, almost are alive. You know, you walk into a room and the room knows how you like the lighting and the song that you love starts automatically playing and the curtains automatically raise and the computer you know, offers you your favorite snack. I mean, the full flourishing of these technologies promises to essentially blur the distinction between self and world. The entire world will have mind in it. It's how the cognitive philosophers David Chalmers and Andy Clark used to say, we've always been adept at dovetailing our minds to our tools, but when our tools start talking back, the loop will be finished. We will have fully spread our minds out into our universe. This is the Internet of Things. This is why it's a game changer. And this is why it absolutely rattles my imagination. So, you know, read up on it, right? It's coming. Hello everyone, this is Anissa from What's Next. We are live from Pusat SSC Pengurusan. In this sunny noon, we are going to discover about a very interesting topic, Internet of Things or IoT. Let's find out about what the pedestrians here in Malaysia know about Internet of Things. Can I interview you? Uh, hello, can I interview you? Oh, sure. Okay, what is Internet of Things? Um, Internet of Things is the idea that any object can connect to the Internet. There is no need for human-to-human -human interaction or even human-to-computer interaction. Only machine-to-machine -machine communication. And then... So let's proceed to the next one. Uh, sir, can we interview you? Yeah, mula, mula, mula. Uh, okay. Thank <laughs> you. Sorry. Miss, <laughs> can I interview you? <laughs> okay. Uh, about Internet of Things, how does it work? Oh, from what I know, IoT consists of all the web enabled device that collect, send and act on the task they acquire from the surrounding environment. It also use embedded sensors, processors and communication hardware. Mm. Mm, like yesterday, Access granted.
Thank you for your cooperation. from IoT, like it can save my time, for example, I can unlock my uh, car during emergencies. Mm. Uh, and then, for yesterday, I... Hello? Oh! Matamu melamakanku Saat pertama kali ku lihatmu Dan jujur ku tak pernah merasa Ku tak pernah This, can I interview you? Oh, uh, yeah, yes, yes, yes. Okay. How does Internet of Things benefit you to have a better quality of life? Ah, uh, yes. IoT can help a lot in creating my lifestyle. My refrigerator might be a better dietitian than my doctor. Every steps I take, how much exercise I've done, I can know all of that just for my food. And yesterday... <laughs> So, we've heard a lot of thoughts about the Internet of Things from the pedestrians in Pusat Asasi Pengurusan. I'm amazed of how Internet of Things can benefit a lot of us. Do you know that by 2020, it is estimated that about 50 billion objects will be connected to the Internet? Internet of Things is more than a smart home, smart TV, and smart refrigerator. Driver discuss, that's Internet of Things too. Till then, anticipate for what is the future will hold for us. See you next time.